I work with a bunch of great guys, and uh, we're all really committed to our job, to the area that we work in, trying to make it a better place. One of the main reasons I, I really like working in White Center is just the, uh, the cultural diversity of the area. Um, I, get, I get to deal with people that, outside of law enforcement, I would never have the opportunity to, to deal with or interact with. And, uh, that, that makes the job really interesting. So we've got a guy over here, I know him, his name's Danger. He's been involved in a lot of stuff lately. Running across the street, he's got a bottle in his hand. We're gonna stop him, see what he's doing. Get on the ground. Get on the ground right now. Get down on the ground, Danger. Down. Down on the ground. Right now. Hands behind ah. your back. Hands behind your back. I didn't do nothing. You understand? They Hook hit me. Up. Yeah, you had the bottle in your hand, man. You had the bottle in your because hand. Because I'm trying to protect myself. 44, one uh, detained. It's been tased. I'm trying Anybody to protect myself. Standing? Unbelievable, man. What are you doing? We're all here with him. They jumped me, fool. Okay. Do you want me to open the air? Yeah, 3285. We don't need anybody else here. We're going for Okay. Hey, he ran into uh, to the bushes, grabbed this bottle, he was holding it like he was going to do some damage. <laughs> hey, danger. You're going to jail tonight for disorderly conduct, you understand? For what, man? For what? You know I'm not going to do nothing, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you grab, I watched you, know you, I watched I you grab the bottle, the bottle I didn't and you see turned you. around I toward to God, him. That's all so okay. that I said for I didn't see you. Okay. We don't, we don't stand for that up here, man. You don't, you know you don't do I that. Call the police. Who? What? There's three cops sitting right in front of the club. Why don't you? Why don't you go to them? I was right in front of the club. Yeah, why didn't okay. you tell us? Is no no this why you run to us, not to them? If you were getting jumped, I swear to God. You know what? You didn't look like you're getting jumped, man. You ran the wrong way. You ran. You picked I up. I ran. Yeah. Hey, listen. You ran and you picked up the bottle because it's a weapon. That's what you do. How many times you been arrested for stabbing people? How many times? Once. Promise. Okay, that's look, that's exactly what it looked like you're gonna do, man. You I grab your bottle and you turn right. Was, okay. Hey, all the, hey, look, 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 look. I was gonna hit them if they were all gonna jump me. That's why I ran with the bottle. The bottle's right there. Okay. That's why I was okay. running with it. Well, you're going to jail. Disorderly conduct. You understand? Can I, can I at least stand up and you can sit up. Go ahead, sit up. Sit. What's up? Listen, man. You're cool with me. I'm cool with you. You know what I'm saying? When I was standing right here in front of you, and you were telling me to get on the ground, there's a million things going on in my head. I so why did you down? Why didn't you get down? Because I wasn't in the wrong. Okay. When the police tell you to do something, I know you're what do you to do? do it. But I thought, you know saying, me and you are cool. No. He, uh, he supposedly just assaulted two females in front of the club. He, he walked did. up, yeah. He okay. walked up and starts punching on several times. He's got one female over there with a black eye. Her eyes all closed up right now. And another one got hit too. So that's what's going on. You should be thanking me, man. I, sa I saved your life. You beat up those two girls? I didn't beat them up. Did you, did you punch a girl? Did you punch a girl? All I did was push them. Why? That's it. Why? Because they all started hitting me. So I okay. pushed them out of the way. So I started running all right. that way. So say thank you. Because I just saved you from a big old whooping from these guys. And then they were going hemp you telling them to shoot Okay. Me. All right. See all those guys? I know. That's why I picked up the bottle, man. Because you were beating on their women. I wasn't being on them. I no, Why is her eye off? What's happening right now? She, oh, got, really? she got a big swollen eye, but she doesn't want to do anything. She doesn't want to do anything? No. I gotta, I gotta talk to her. Is he 17? No, he's eight. He's... Is he gonna hit him back? Danger. How old are you? 19. 19. Excellent. Oh, my word. He did that to you? Yes, you we did. will prosecute. This, this will guy, prosecute. come on over here. We're gonna talk real quick, all right? Did he hit you with a closed fist or an open fist? A closed fist. Really? Yeah. Like he's like we're walking by minding my own business, just walking mm -hmm. by. And he started calling us bitches and I was the only one close to him. And I was like, I go, you don't even know us. I go, why are you talking about us? So you've never seen he, this guy before? I seen him close him, but I don't know him like that. And then he, he started swinging it. He started like I didn't even touch him. And just okay. when I asked him that, he went and things like he started hitting me. And okay. I, st I hit him as much as I could after he okay. hit me. And after he, I, I couldn't see because he hit me and I went like that. And my friend started going on and he ran. OK. All right. You guys witnessed this whole thing happen? Yes. yes. Okay. The girls, the okay. Did. Good deal. Well, he's going to go to jail tonight. I'm telling you the truth, man.
I gotta take you to jail. I have a victim. She's got a black eye. I got all these people. So you punched her. All I did was push somebody. Hey, what were they saying before that? You are like, you're a little bitch and telling me that, that I was from Vatos Locos. I ain't from Vatos Locos. Okay. What do you claim? I don't claim nothing. You it's don't... so threatening. I don't bang no more. Bro. Why, am I, why am I So you're done? Bang? You don't bang no more? No. Okay. So they thought you were? That's why they're all up in your face? Yeah. But in the but in the first place, I was never to be from Vatos Locos in the first place. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was tripping, and then they all started jumping me. Okay. All right. And then I get put in jail. You got to look at it from my point of view, man. I can't have that going on up here. I'm responsible for what goes on up here, and that was some craziness. I told him several times to stop, to get on the ground, and uh, just our experience with him. I mean, he's he can oh, yeah. be very violent. Yeah. So I didn't want to tase him, but I had to do it. Well, his nickname is Danger for a reason, so, <laughs> so they say. Yeah. Yeah, I've been a Cleveland police officer for 19 years now. I uh, spent 14 years doing detective work. And because of uh, administrative changes that were made, I'm uh, reassigned back to uniform for the time being. But this is, uh, this is where you learn the job at, you know, working in the zone car. This, this is where it all starts at. Bruce, we got 23 chasing the car up on Cedar. On Cedar? Yeah. Mill refusing to stop. 401, we're coming up on our... Clarkwood and Clarkwood and Clarkwood. Copy. I'm going to tell you, just off the fence, going back towards number one. Back towards it. Come back, you're going to report back here. Come back right where you were. Come back right where you were in the backyard. Go, 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 up there, up there. I'm going to tase you. You understand it? Yeah. Yeah, I got light. Where are we at? Chamberlain? What's the address here? Wow. Hey. Got a big bag of crack back here. Under the porch? Yeah. 72. It was like stuck down in between the planks. Yeah, they're all wet. Tried to eat them. Yeah, yeah. they had them in his mouth. Watch them. This is right here. Yeah, it, was, it was like down in the planks. Yeah. Right there. Right here. Oh, yeah. It's wet. I, mean, I don't know if I'm grabbing it. Hold yeah, on, it's mouth. Trying to eat him? Or are you just carrying him there? I think you ripped the bag open. Yeah, he might have. 20, 20 rocks? Yeah, 20. 300 bucks? 500 bucks? What's your name? Kenneth. Kenneth. You got any ID on you? Nope. 71st, Sarge. 71st, you got a pocket full here, too. Oh, oh there we go. He bailed on the car, this officer chased him down and found him under a, a, a porch. Extracted him out of the, uh, from under the porch. A couple officers found a, a big rag, a big uh, bag of crack 
that apparently it was trying to eat. It's kind of wet and trying to break the bag open. I got the female too from the vehicle to, as he, he bailed, left his uh, female passenger in the vehicle. They got the vehicle down there on uh, 73rd now. Was he, was he like originally wearing a white t-shirt? He came out of it as he was running. He took it off. That's why I had him back in the, uh, in the fence. He just broke through the fence and came around to the backyard and jumped underneath the, <laughs> jumped underneath the porch. I'm standing here while he's doing it. Anything that you want to say? Oh, yeah. yeah. Why did y'all pull me over, though? We're running the red light at 79th and Central. He didn't stop before turning. We're going to give you a, a red light ticket, and instead, you refuse to stop. Twice. Why'd you keep running? Because I don't know what y'all stopped me for, man. I didn't know. That's why you took off in the car? Yeah. Not because of anything you had on you? No. The crack that you put in the back there? No. No. Who's in the car with you? Female. Her name's Shonda. Is that your girlfriend? That's my friend. That you abandoned? I abandoned. You left her in the car when you took off running. Yeah, all right. All right, Kenneth, you know, we're charging with the VSDL, violation of state drug law. It's going to be trafficking, confiscate your money Before for a criminal tool. We're going to tow your car. You have felony fleeing and eluding. Okay? Right. You understand? All right. All right. Thank you. It looks like he was going to use this as an escape route, but he kind of ran out of room. He's probably going to try to go uh, through the vacant field, back out on the street, hoping that the police car wouldn't follow him. But someone decided to dump their concrete there, and they got an abandoned house on this side. So that's why he had to bail. What you guys want to do with the girl, Gary? We're releasing. She's just a pastor, and uh, she was just held hostage by him on the chase. Okay. Roughly $20 for a rock. However many rocks are in there, I haven't counted them uh, yet. I'll count them back at the district. Max at all times, because uh, we all want to go home safe to our families or loved ones at the end of the night. Uh, right now, there's another agency coming into our uh, coming into Minneapolis. Uh, they're in pursuit of a vehicle. 443, we're going to assist. We're eastbound Plymouth Avenue at Queen. There they are. NARS came for assistance on Elkhead Point. 443, we're now going south on Penn, just now crossing 12th. Still south on Penn. South on Penn from Oak Park. Approaching 394 interchange. We're approaching 394 interchange now. West, westbound 394. Westbound on 394 from Penn. Speed in there. Trooper coming up on your left. Right now, it looks like the state patrol is going to try and pit them. Stand by. Tom John Murray. On his 93 forest floor, registers to the avenue in Minneapolis. Keep him out. He's crying. He rolled. He's rolling. Oh. 
Yep. Let's get him right through the front there. Everybody see his hands. He's 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 moaning. You want to unsnap him? No. Are we getting him out of here or not? There's pressure ready to do it. There's smoke underneath. That's something. He's starting to move here. Watch it. He's got a large gash get on him his out. right side. Let's get him out of here. Roll over. Roll over. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What's your name, Warren? Milton. What hurts, Milton? What? Anything hurt? No. No? You feel Nothing. okay? I feel okay. All right. It's Milton. Yeah. Okay, I think I know you. Just keep breathing. You let me know if something starts to hurt, all right? Hello. Do you just have a couple drinks tonight? Is that why you're running? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to get an ambulance for you and take care of you, all right? All right. Got your idea on you, Milton? Yep. The car was uh, yep. smoking, so we had to pull him out. Okay. <laughs> He's still fighting. No. He, He's been fine since we've been here, but he flipped probably four or five times. Okay. It looked like uh, when he put him the vehicle, rolled over. Uh, Looked like about two times. It landed on its side. That time we had to uh, push the vehicle over because the uh, vehicle started smoking. Um, at which time we got it upright and uh, we didn't want the vehicle. We didn't know if the vehicle was going to catch on fire or something. So we cut a seat belt and pulled him out to safety there. Now uh, EMS is going to look at him and make sure he's okay and get him to the hospital. What was the pursuit for? Uh, I stopped him for an equipment violation. He had uh, okay. uh, no license plate light. Once I stopped him, I went up to the car. He asked him for his driver's license, proof of insurance. He promised through the glove box that he didn't have a proof of insurance with him. I said, how about that license? And he checked both pockets, threw his hands up, and put it in drive and left. That's what it was over. It wasn't over anything big. He had no license plate light or something. So. Well, when they asked him if he had been drinking, he said, yeah, I had a couple of drinks tonight. And he said, is that what you're running? <laughs> yep. Well, then going home. they asked him again and said he hadn't had any. Yeah. So I'm surprised he's doing as well as he is right now. Yeah, he was fully conscious and he was doing just fine. He was talking fine. He knew where he was and remotely what happened. It started out as a simple traffic stop. He's going to the hospital now. Been in law enforcement a little over 16 years. Been here at the Sheriff's Department for most of that. I really like working here because uh, I stay very busy. Uh, no matter what shift you're on, you're, you're going to work a lot. It's really diverse. We have a lot of uh, industry, a lot of residential, all kinds of people here that just keep it very interesting. We're going to be going to a, it's like a family disturbance in progress. A male's tearing apart the trailer, uh, possibly armed with some scissors. So, hey, what's going on? What's wrong with him? Okay. Through a knife, so he might be armed. Hang on. What's up, buddy? Been right three times. Listen to me. Listen to me. Turn around. Now I'm going to prison for nothing. No, you're not. Just stop. Okay? Listen to me. What's your name? Robert. 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 Listen to me, Robert. I, do nothing. I, want I didn't say you did. I didn't say you did. Listen My to mom me. My says I assault her. I ain't touched her. Nobody said anything yet, okay? Uh, I want you to stand up. I've been working as he Stand up, there. Robert. Put your hands back behind your back, okay? There you go. No, just relax, okay? You're wrong. I ain't touched Listen to me. Just relax. Let go. Let go. I'm going to go back to What? 
Y'all you know, taking me back crazy house or I'm going to jail for what? Nobody said you're going to jail yet, okay? Just relax. This is come on. Huh? Have you had anything today, like drugs or what, man? You're sweating Dude. to death. Man, I just got my ass whipped and got stabbed in the elbow. Who stabbed you? I don't know. I got jumped by three Mexicans. Okay. I took three of them out. You took three of them uh, out? Where are they at? I'm sorry, bro. Nah, I ain't got no weapon. Yeah, he's Mexican. And I'm trying to go to bed. You do I have a weapon. Do I? Yeah, you sure do. Well, I was trying to go to bed. It's a Christmas. No, I don't. Oh, my Christmas. Look, I never... I ain't watched Melbourne. Yeah, I know. I'm watching. Believe me. I just want to go to sleep. Okay. Move up. Why is she doing me like this? Well, I don't know what's going on yet, Robert. I just got here, okay? She said I assaulted her. I ain't touched her. Did you threaten her? No, I didn't threaten her. I just want to go to bed. I was picking my food. She wanted me to assault her. She wanted you to? Yeah, I never met nobody who wants to get assaulted. assaulted. Who is she to you? That's my mother. That's your mama? No, that's my aunt. That's your aunt, my Robert. Aunt. Robert, listen to me, okay? She lied and said I threatened to stab her. Robert. I would never stab her. Robert, me. listen to me, okay? Who is she to you? Is she your mom or your aunt? Which one my is she? My mother you? right there. That's your my mom. My aunt lives in Tyler. Okay, now we're making sense, okay? Can you call my aunt Tyler and she'll tell you the whole truth? Well, can't you just tell me the truth? She makes up stuff. Be honest with me. Did you go over there and try and buy some dope or get some dope or I something? I don't do dope no more. I'm just ask him. You ain't got to you know what? Look at me. Yeah? I quit doing dope. That's what the problem is. Everybody wants me to go buy them dope. I don't do dope no more, sir. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't taking the jail, are you? I ain't assaulted nobody. You stabbed one of them fellas. We, we might need to find him, don't you think? Have a seat. Have a seat. Too. There you go. Get your legs in there. Get your legs in there. Oh, I'll take a minute, Jeff. Come on in. Eileen, yeah, we well, can come in, ma'am? Sure. Where's your room at? That's way back here. This is where he threw the food at me. Mm-hmm. I was over here on the phone, and he threw that water uh -huh. and hit my door, and I come in here, I hit, he hit the door, I thought it was his fist. Okay. And then he come in here, and, and somewhere there are a pair of scissors because he's going to mm -hmm. stab himself, he said. And he threw the, somewhere I have a pair of scissors in here. I don't know where he threw them. I knew they hit because I heard them hit. Okay, where were you at when that happened? When he threw them? Where I were you at? I was over here calling 911. You were over here? Over the between bottle. The... Because I knew okay, it was and he get threw worse. the scissors your direction while yes. you were over here? No, he was standing right here and said, I'll just stab myself with these scissors. And then okay. he just threw them at me. Okay, I got them right here. Oh, good. It's like some of the noodle stuff. Ooh. He stuck them in his neck. Is that his hair? Ken? Well, yeah, there's a little bit of oh, hair. Oh, he broke them, too. Yeah. That's the ones I cook with them. All right, since I've recovered these, these scissors are going to come with me, okay? And uh, I'm probably going to be filing uh, either an aggravated assault charge or some type of family violence charge, okay? Because, I mean, obviously he's, he's still got some serious issues that we need to get worked out, okay? And he can't be here with you acting like no, that. There's just no, no way. No, I can't handle it anymore. You don't have any way to defend yourself. I don't even know what's going on in his mind. Okay. Thank y'all. Hey, Robert. Yes, sir. I just want to talk to you a minute, okay? Um, I've got your side of the story, what you told me, and then I went over there to talk. Hang on, listen to me, man. Okay. I went up there and talked to your mama, okay? Your mama said that you come in there and you was mad and you threw a, a bottle of water at her or a jug of water or something. Is that right? Look at me. Oh, okay. What about, was there, I ain't gonna tell my was there a pair of scissors involved in any of this? I had scissors. You did? Well, what yeah. happened with them scissors? Because I'm not too clear on that. You didn't tell me nothing about scissors over there earlier. What's the deal with the scissors? I was cutting onions up. Cutting you know, onions? It's the same way I got two years in prison for. Okay, I but I'm... cutting onions up. You was cutting onions up two years ago, she too? She slapped me up, yeah, when I got my two years of aggravated assault with uh -huh. that weapon. Uh-huh. Same thing. Same thing. And she runs out the house. Well, she runs out the house because you're scaring and, her. Well, I was bleeding to death, and I just wanted to go in my room and go to uh -huh. sleep, but she wouldn't let me. She kept screaming and yelling at me. Did you even understand what she was saying? She's on drugs. Did you even understand what she was saying, Rob? She smokes a lot of weed. 
Oh, okay. Okay. And that's that's your don't, mom. Don't say that though. You want Look, me go? I'll be nice. No, nah, I ain't gonna let you go because I don't believe you're gonna be nice. Here's the deal. You're gonna go with me tonight, okay? I'm gonna file a family violence related charge against you because that's your mama. Just take me to jail. I work in King County, Washington. Most people know it being the county that Seattle is in. Obviously, in the Northwest, it rains a lot. However, that doesn't keep the criminals from doing what they do, so it's something that we have to deal with also. I'm just going over here to uh, back up my partner on a uh, traffic stop that he's clearing right now. Go ahead. Not there right now, basically. Dave, how you doing, sir? Oh, there he is. Unity, your plate clear current black and it's six bucks with GS3 out of Ken. Hey, Everett, you any weapons on you? No, okay, I didn't have you spot the car real quick. Walk to the back right here. That's where you put your hands on the back of your car. Right here. Your car. Right there. Just put your feet. Put your hands on top of your the car right there. I'm just going to pat you for weapons, okay? Relax. Okay. What I'm going to do at this point, I want you to put your hands on your back. Okay. Other one. You seem really uh, nervous about a nothing traffic stop. So do you want to tell me what's going on for real? I'm trying to get my car fixed. Okay. But you seem a little more nervous than that. You know what I'm saying? Because this is just a... You roll through a stop sign and we smell a little marijuana and we all know it's not the... I didn't drive biggest. through a stop sign. Okay, well, I'm not going to argue traffic court with you right here. I'm telling you that's why you got stopped, okay? And then when, when my partner makes contact, we smell marijuana, which in and of itself obviously isn't that big of a deal, right? But you're, you're pretty nervous. So it's leading us to believe that there's something else going on. Are we wrong? Uh, I so. Okay, we have a dope dog coming, so if there's something you want to tell us right now, it'll behoove you. It'll be in your best interest. Where's the dope? What are you talking about? Just asking where the dope is, man. Look, my nose isn't broken. I'm not a very smart cop and all that, but I can smell what I can smell, all right? I mean, if it's just a little stank weed, then that's one thing. That's all it is, and all this isn't necessary. All right, when's the last time you were in jail? I got out July last year. Okay, so obviously, you know, it's, it's just a little weed. It's not that big of a deal. Okay? There is weed in the car, because I smell it. Okay? I mean, it's an undeniable fact. You know it, and I know it. If you don't want to talk to me, just say you don't want to talk to me. Okay? I don't want to waste any more time. Come on back to my partner's car. Come on. Have a seat. Show me where you smell it. This is where the primary odor is. It's in here. And this is open, and I can see a baggie in plain view right here. Uh, I just Show looked me. down in it, and this is what we find. This was unzipped. When I came up to the car after stopping it, it was obvious to me that there was marijuana in the car, so I could smell it. I've dealt with it a lot, so I, I know what it smells like. So once we, we smell the marijuana in the car, and we call the canine over to, to confirm. It's a lot. How much is there? I have no idea. You have no idea? You gotta have some idea. No 
of my friends must have left that in there. Your friends must have left this in here? And you didn't smell it when you got in the car? Really? Because I smelled it uh, before I even walked up to your car when I was 15 feet away. So you're going to tell me when you were in that car with all the doors closed and only the sunroof open that you didn't smell any of this? Um, I have my windows open. I don't smell anything. There's packaging and uh, I don't even know how much marijuana. That's really the story you're going to go with that you didn't know? I have no idea. Because you know as well as I do when you were in the convicted of Bucks the last time that I didn't know defense doesn't go very far. I mean, you know that, and I know that. Okay. Is that what you're sticking with, that I didn't know defense? Somebody left that in there. Somebody left that in there. And there's no way you would have smelled that. Okay. Smelling uh, well, I mean, hey, you're the one that's going to do the time. Okay. Well, any reasonable person, you don't even have to be a, a police officer to know that doesn't... That'll never fly. Uh, it's not reasonable. Uh, when I was 15 feet away, we could smell it. And uh, with this amount of dope, or marijuana, it's pretty obvious. Money. He's going with the, uh, I didn't know, my friend must have run in there. Back. Yeah. That's what we've got so far. On this amount of money, there's about $500. I don't know why he just didn't tell us. 819. Copy. Control 3-Baker 1. We can hear a lot of yelling. Can we get a couple more units? Control 3 Baker 1. She has a 413 to her head. I will not. I will shoot it first. Ma'am, do me a favor. Put the gun down. I will not. Put, put the gun down. No. Drop the gun. Come on. I will not drop the gun. I What's your name? First. Control 3 Baker 1. Can no we get idea. CNT out here? I've done this before with friends. I've had friends that are punks, okay? I am not stupid. Ma'am, drop the gun, okay? No. Because I'm not putting up with his and his daughter that he created. I didn't do this. His daughter has done this to us. And now Come on. The one putting up with this? No. Drop the gun, okay? No. Can we get somebody I with a less not lethal? Drop the gun. What's your name? On the trigger, and it will go off if you come near me. Okay. What's your name? My name is Carol, and I'm sick. Almost sick. Next month I'll be sixty. I don't need it. We can fix this. I already shot around. Okay. The next one go off? No, no, Carol, Carol. Calm down. Oh, then don't give me no <laughs> Don't even come near me. Because all it takes is one pump, and I will be... I know, okay? I really don't care. I need you to calm down for me, though, okay? No, because why? Because we're here to try to help look, you. you come on, Carol, it? Carol, come back it? over here. No, you want to see it? Carol, don't, see it? don't do it, okay? No. Carol. I mean it. I, I know you mean no, it, okay? You, I'm I not doubting know, you. Because you don't know how much I love this family, and this family doesn't give a about me. All he cares about is his drug addicted daughter. And I'm tired of giving my life to somebody that doesn't care about me. Carol, I mean, we can fix this. You don't I even want to talk done. to Brandy? I am done. I'm telling you, I am done. He called the cops on me. That tells you right there. I am done. Okay? All I have to do is put this right here and pull the trigger. Okay? And then you guys can see the blood go and you can say, sorry, we missed. Okay? Because that's what's going to happen. I am not going down with you guys at all. No way. I don't care what you say, what you do, I am not moving. And if you try to come up on me, it's on the trigger. And I've already fired a round, so I know it's loaded. Okay. So, go ahead. Make my day. Kim's here. Kim's here. Classage okay. negotiator. Okay. Okay. We're done.
she's, did they brief you what she's saying? She's no. 60, her boyfriend's 47. She's upset because of the way that he treats her. There was an 18 month and a four year old that are his. They got in an argument because she cooked dinner. He came home from work, said she was drunk and she's just fed up. She's already fired one round inside the house. And when we pulled up, she had the gun to her head. What's going on? Tell me what's going on right now. I just got here and I'm trying to help you out, okay? This is my partner, Kim. Carol, listen no, to me. No. Carol. I don't have to listen to any of you. None of you. I don't have to listen to you or you or you. Carol, I no. just I just want you to talk to me. Carol. Carol. Don't come near me. Carol. I love it. Don't come near me. Carol. Carol, I can't hear you anymore. Carol. No, I'm not going to put the gun down. Stop. Carol. She looks like she's going to run back inside. Get in the room! Stay off the radio. Stay off the radio. Why did you shoot me? You guys, why? We got medical coming up. I didn't. You all right, Carol? No, my eye is hurting, and I have contacts in my eyes. We got medical coming, okay? Why did you guys shoot me? I put the gun down, okay? Okay, why did you shoot me then? That was not we, necessary. We needed, we needed to make sure you dropped the weapon. I, he okay. saw me drop the weapon. Okay. Yeah, all less lethal, Johnny. All, all less lethal. lethal. Uh, 40 yeah. millimeter beanbag. All less lethal. Okay, we're going to have someone come look at you right now, okay? That'd be nice. Okay. I'm in a lot of pain right now. My guy is killing me. I can't stand up. Okay. You want to sit up? That'd be nice. Yeah. Oh God, my stomach hurts. You shot me in the stomach too. Oh God. And you've been shot with less leaf. You haven't been shot with a real bullet. Can you get me a cigarette over there on that? No, not right now. I can't. Oh, thanks a lot. I tried talking to her, but um, I thought it was working for a few minutes, and then it just started escalating, getting worse, and everything. And I think the reason why we ended up having to uh, use the less lethal was. She was trying to go back inside the house, and towards the end there, right before she went back in the house, she was making those statements about, tell my daughter I said I'm sorry, and things of that nature. And then she tries to retreat back inside the house, so I, we didn't really have any choice other than to, you know, use the less lethal on her. So it turned out to be, you know, better than it could have been. Overall, she's still alive. I've been with the Cleveland Police Department for uh, over seven years now. Uh, Cleveland is a great city. There's a lot to do up here. Uh, we got a lot of places of interest. You can come visit. Uh, great music, uh, home of rock and roll. You know, a lot of places you can visit and have a good time. On the phone, her living boyfriend started assaulting her. She had to go before the boyfriend grabbed the phone. Uh, we're going to a call for uh, a male assaulting his girlfriend. Uh, third party call from uh, out of town. The, gr uh, the girl called her cousin. He called us, said uh, she told him that uh, the boyfriend was assaulting her, that she couldn't talk on the phone too long. So we're going to head over and see what's going on. 12 Lincoln, we arrived. 2201. Don't 
hands up, hands up, turn around. Turn around. Away from me, I'll tase you. Turn around now. Turn around. Put your hands up in that wall. What the heck is going on? What is this all about? We'll explain it. Oh, come on! Hey, buddy, okay? Hey, buddy, been okay. I'm in there watching the video. Baby's okay? Oh, why do you have to come in here? Because I'm not going to do nothing. What happened? Oh, my God. Did he hit you? Yes, he did. That's you why I'm glad y'all kicked out the door. Come on, have a seat over here. Are you okay? I'm just shaking right now. That's why I can't hardly stand up. Can you an ambulance? You got any ambulance on? I don't know. Just relax, relax. What happened? Talk to me. He, on my way home from work, he was mad because I was on the phone with my mother. And he just started cussing me out about that and getting my face in there and hit me. So I called my cousin, like, call the police because if I try to call him, they going he going to try to hit me again. And I... And just now, when y'all was beating on the door, he didn't want me to open the door because he, he didn't know who it was. And he just started hitting me, and then the girl in the room came in here to try to break us up. Okay. You guys married? No. I, thank God. Daddy? No. Nothing to you? No. He was punching and beating her when we got up here. The, he didn't allow her to open the door for us. What are you talking about? My phone right there. What are you talking about? I got nothing. I was sitting in the room. Okay, go ahead. So you want me to call? No, don't call him. Because they got to talk to you anyway. They can't do this. Amanda, don't, don't. Amanda, don't lie. Amanda, don't. Amanda, Amanda. What am I doing? Nothing. Here outside, all right? Amanda, don't do this. Amanda, don't say nothing to her at this point. Don't say anything to her and go. This is my home. Listen, you're under arrest. You understand that? Amanda. No, you need to listen. No, I'm not going nowhere. I'm. Sir, one more time, I'm going to taste you. Stop it. Listen to my partner. Oh, my God. All right, have a seat. Tell me from the beginning what happened. On my way home from work, which I got off at 8.30, which was like two hours ago, he started cussing me out because I was on the phone talking to my mother. So we get to the house. I'm like, Nanny, just please leave me alone. I am exhausted. I just want to go to bed right now. So she goes in there and start cooking or whatever. And then I come in here, he runs up on me talking about get off the phone and all this other stuff. I'm like, Nene, do not put your hands on me. That's the last time. That's not the first time he put his hands on me. Okay. And I'm, I'm not, I'm tired of it. I'm just ready to go. Where he hit you at? In my face. And then I, I don't know what's wrong with my finger. You think it's broken? Can you bend it? It's numb. I know that. Let me see your face. Where else did he hit you? In my face. Yeah, yeah, and that's why I was fighting him back because y'all was downstairs. Otherwise, I wouldn't even hit him back. I saw you grabbing your leg. Did he hit you in that leg also? No, I was shaking. Okay. I can't understand how somebody with two daughters can put their hands on a woman. This doesn't make sense to me. Actually, when I was in the house, mm -hmm. as I was watching the baby up, that's when we heard the knocking. Because when we was in the cooking, was cooking, I was in the room watching the baby up, and we heard a knock. Then I asked her, say, you not didn't bring nobody over here to like tear my house up and nothing like bring stuff through all the stuff. I said, no, I'm gonna call 911. I grabbed a cell phone. That's when I heard some knocking, kicking, like somebody kicking my door in. I called 911 because I didn't know who that was downstairs. Okay. And then that's what happened. What was that stumping we heard when we were downstairs? Stumping? Yeah. That was her. All that opening. rattling. Really? It was no rattling. What she did, she opened that door, and I said, do not open that door downstairs so you know who it is. Because I wasn't trying to, I don't know what she was doing in that room. Be honest with you. At no mm -hmm. point tonight, tonight, tonight. And that was it. Okay. Did you guys get into a, uh, an argument? Nope, not no physical. Nothing yes, physical, but no you physical. got an argument? And, yep. Yep, we right, both of us all right there. Right, right in there, I said, and she went in that room, and I went in that other room. Yep. All right, watch yourself, okay? Okay, I'm watching. We're going to take him for domestic violence and kidnapping. She said when you guys knocked at the door, he prevented her from going downstairs and opening the door for you. He grabbed her and held her against her will. So we're going to go domestic violence and the kidnapping with it based on what she said. Okay, I, I, I heard her say it when we're at the bottom of the stairs that let me go, stop hitting me. So that's why we... Okay. A lot of changes since I've been here. and uh, Population exploded from a few hundred thousand to well over a million. But I love this town and I love doing this job in this town. And every night I try to go out and do something to help make this community a little safer. But... Uh, my main goal each night is to make sure I get home to see my wife and my kid. This car in front of me just uh, cut across two lanes of traffic to make a right-hand turn and 
He's making some crazy motions here in his vehicle, so we're gonna stop him. Go so he's all out. Turn off the stereo and roll down the window. The reason I stopped you is you cut across two lanes of traffic to make your right hand turn in front of a couple cars. Is yeah. there a reason for that? No, I, I thought it was one. You thought it was one? Yeah. Well, and you almost hit the car that was trying to make that turn through there, right? Did you realize that? No, I didn't realize that. All right. That. Do you have your driver's license on you? No, I don't have one. You don't have it on you? Or don't, don't go reaching around. Do you have anything on you I need to know about? Any guns, knives, weapons? No. Okay, what's that little bit of grass stuff on your, no, 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 don't go reaching. What's that little bit of grass stuff on your, on your, on my what? On your, on your, on your pants right there, on your lap. I don't have grass stuff on my lap. Okay. There's no marijuana or anything in this car, is there? Yeah, it's a, it's a marijuana thing. You have a blunt? Because I can smell it. Don't go reaching for it. Okay, have you ever been arrested before? Yes. Okay, what have you been arrested for before? For robbery. For robbery? Yeah. When were you arrested for robbery? Uh, 1989. 1989? Yes. Okay. Do you have a driver's license? Yes. Okay. Where's the driver's license out of? It's uh, right here. Out of, out of Nevada? Uh-huh. Okay. Why don't you have it with you? Because they uh, took it because it was suspended. So your but license is suspended right now, right? Because I got child support. I just got out of the door like six months ago. What'd you, what were you in the joint for? Uh, for, for the robbery? Uh -huh. How much time did you do? I did like... 10 years and nine months. Okay. Why don't I have you step out of the car for a minute? I'm going to have you step back to the front of my vehicle, okay? okay. Control 3 North 34. I'm code 4, but can you send me another vehicle, please? Step up in front of here. Your call again? Sorry, that was 3 DP 18. In the front of the vehicle. Fuck a suit! Fuck a suit! He's going towards the hotel! <laughs> He's running eastbound. He's going towards the parking garage. Top six, can you back the units? Put your hands up now! Have a run again for you. He's under a vehicle. Hotel. Hotel. Control 3 DP 18, west side parking garage and hotel. Copy you, second being out. Don't move! Hold on and out, code. What have you got cuffs? <laughs> Go ahead. Don't move. Cross your legs. Cross your legs. We're back there. My car's. The truck's out there. Tompkins, go get his car. Go secure it. Control 3 DP 18. We're code 4 1 in custody. All right, man, why'd you run from me? I thought I had a warrant. Okay. Did you think that was going to help your situation any? I just want to go back. Because if you had a warrant, then you may or may not have gone to jail, right? Depending on where the warrant was from. Where's the warrant from? Right here. Oh, from out of here? All right. Well, Bring now you've knees. gone from maybe going to jail where you're definitely going to jail, right? Bend your knees. Bring your knees up here. Sit up. Oh, problem. Sit up. As the suspect was running down this area, he has a small registration packet right there with his uh, pre-packaged baggies of marijuana. And that and some paperwork in there that he tried to hide under the car, as well as the registration for the uh, places where he's going to deliver to or pick up drugs are all laying over there on the ground. So canvassing the area, we were able to pick all that up. What they'll do now is they'll have canine come out. He'll sniff the area, see if we can find any more dope that he dumped. Uh, but there's a small back package with uh, looks like four, three or four dope baggies in it. There's no warrant for your arrest, man. You ran and there's no warrant. But you ran because you knew I was going to find the weed on you, didn't you? Yeah. 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 See? 
Well, just another charge. We're going to add to the rest of the charge we got stemmed from, from this whole case. So. How many charges on my hand? Well, let's see. You got the traffic. You got the traffic violations, which was the reason for the stops. Okay. You got the possession of the mar the marijuana, the little bit that's in the car. You got the possession of the prepackaged narcotics that's enough to show that it was for sales so that's a possession charge with sales uh, you got the obstructing charge for running for me you know what there's I'm gonna fill up uh, quite a bit of paperwork with all the information I got on this yeah, stop right here misdemeanors. And, and pretty much all except for the possession of the controlled substance for sales all of it was misdemeanors all right well let's throw him in the back of your car do me a favor check him out extra good Stand up. Thanks, Sarge. Thank you, sir. As the officers came back to check out the suspect vehicle, there's as if there's a 22 caliber semi-automatic that's sitting underneath the driver's seat. And of course he knew that once I pulled him out, had him controlled, we checked out the car, we're gonna find all this stuff. So that's him running from here. I've been in the second district for about seven years now. Kind of patrolled a neighborhood that I was born and raised in, which is kind of good. I still run into the people that I grew up with and still live in the neighborhood talk to them and see how the neighborhood is try to make a little bit of a difference as much as I can. We got a male and female fighting over here. Let me stop her. And I got another male raving us down right here. 242 to radio. Put us out of 3069. What's up? Nothing. You got to take it somewhere else. Uh, what? We're going home yeah. now. Yeah. This guy comes over and started busting, but beating me. That guy did? Yeah. That's not. I didn't do anything. I was just sitting there. I didn't talk to him. I don't talk to, to okay. his girlfriend. Hang tight. He's got to take off. Wait, 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 wait. Get in, get in, get in. Cut around. Uh, we just got waved down no, by a citizen. No, he just got punched by a male. And the male's going to try to take off from us here, I believe. I'll probably be back in that bar. 4-2, we got a male running from us on Clark. Going uh, westbound. My partner's on foot. Still going uh, westbound. He's right there. How far down, dude? I'm Where's he at? You know what? You know what I'm talking about. Put your hands up there. You hit me first, for real. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, where'd he go? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. All right. Well, we'll right take here. you. We'll take you and Look, tell us where he's at. I don't yeah, for real? Know. No, I don't! You were together with him. Oh, yeah, she was. No, I don't know! Yeah. I live right here for real! You were together with him. Where do you live at? He was asking right you if he knew On me. The corner. I, I don't know where he's at, for real! No, don't seriously. You saw I, what happened. No, seriously. You I, I, I'm coming home. I live right there. <laughs> you want to search her real quick? She was with him. He came, he came flying up over here. No. My phone, that's it. Yeah, so we're looking at the right block here. All right, we're coming now. They got him. And we got a locate on him. Thank you. So we're about to get this mail. We got suspect. him. Yeah, Danny. Gracias. So we have his girlfriend and the mail. Uh, as, as it started, we, we were... He came back to the bar. We were going to a 911 hang-up call, and this gentleman waved us down that he was assaulted. Got him? Great. 41 Adam, right We're here where we started at. He backtracked, came back around. We got um, three witnesses in here 
said that uh, he came in and he started a bar fight in here, started antagonizing with a bunch I, of people. I think I, so, when I, when I called you, it's, we, we, there's a guy. Right there was, down by the yeah, the, bar, the bartender and this guy in the red said that that was him walking down the street, so we flipped around, came down. Just yeah, because we, we, we nice. Because I was, I, I saw just, I was telling them he changed about, his outfit. How about the one the bartender said? The bartender said, "Hey, that's John. Where's Virginia?" So you went, what? You went and changed and everything? I didn't do nothing. Yeah, you did. I saw you. You, you, saw you took it. off on me. I went. I was walking from 25, 55. No, you weren't. You, you ran. You just can't go sit, sitting there punching people all, in the head if all you want. We got witnesses. We have good citizens that saw you do it, and citizens turned you in. There are people that do care. And even your girlfriend even ID'd you. Yeah, have you. Enjoy jail. What, what exactly happened when you... When you... I just... I walked in. Mm -hmm. And pulled the chair, sat down. And he was with this girl. So I, I, I ordered a beer. The beer came. One sip I took. As soon as I put the beer down, I felt like... So the building just collapsed on me. He was standing right behind me, you know, preparing a punch. I, I, I'm on a way because, you know, right. I, I'm, right. Snake I'm, attack. I'm, I'm, I'm relaxed. He snuck. And he hit me, you know, I shook it and tried to stand up. He crossed me and another one right on my lips. I said, oh, what did I do? What is this? Who is this? What's going on? Right. Then he went around the block, changed into a shirt and a, a cap. And then I sat down at the bus stop, and when I sat down at the bus stop, I said, well, there's an awful lot of cops out here tonight for some reason. He said, well, why are you worried about it? Well, I looked down at his stomach and seen that he was breathing hard, so that indicated to me that it had to be the gentleman that ran out of the bar. Right. That's when I, I uh, flagged down an officer, and they arrested him. Look, is that her? Yeah, that's her. That's her? Yeah. Okay. That's her. All right. She's the one. Well, we got both of them for you. Thank you. Thank All right. You, very much, sir. you go enjoy it. your rest of the night yeah, in the bar and have a good I time. I was sorry to interrupt I'm you in there. You know, you know more than he is, and you probably want to show off for his girlfriend. All right. Wow, that's. All right. Yeah, I'm fine. All right. Go yeah, enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy your night, okay? I'll try. I'll try. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. All right. You take it easy. Book them both on the assault charges, and uh, because she was supposedly chasing him. Okay. along with our male suspect. So book them both on the assault charges, and we'll go from there. King County has provided a very interesting place to do law enforcement, a lot different than where I was at in California. California, I was in the Central Valley, hot and flat. Here there's mountains. I can go from the city one minute to the country the next. We watched this car show up at a known drug location, a place where we've had a lot of drug sales over the past couple of years. Uh, the car stayed for a very short time, maybe a minute, and uh, we're going to stop it related on that suspicious activity, that drug activity. Zebra 44 traffic. Go ahead. South 194 and 8th Avenue South on 088. There Hello there. Hi. Can you shut off the car for me? Yeah. Awesome. You got your driver's license with you, man? Yeah, I do. Where are you headed to tonight? Home. Where's home? My grandparents' house in White Center. Grandparents' house in White Center? I just want to go home. <laughs> Whose car? My car. Okay. Do you have your registration and insurance with you? I do. I think I, you know, I, I just got pulled over today. Uh-oh. Uh, I mean, my uh, insurance. But you don't have your insurance papers with you? Uh, you know, I like I said, I got pulled over today, so that's just gonna kill me. But like, I have insurance, and my girl borrowed the car last, so like, I don't know what happened. Are you on probation or parole? Yeah. What are you on probation for? I'm on probation. I, I got out of prison like. Uh, two and a half years ago for um, bringing drugs in the county jail. 
Oh, no. I know, right? Why don't you put out your cigarette and hop out and talk to me, man? All right. Over here. You don't have any guns, bombs, knives, drugs, anything like that with you tonight, do you? Sure not. Okay, turn around, face away. I'm gonna pat you down real quick. What Put you your hands up me? on top of your head. Interlace your fingers. What did you stop me for? Interlace your fingers. I'll explain that to you. What? The hell? I know that that location you're in there is known for drugs. Your short stay traffic in there. What do you got in your pocket? Nothing. So can I check? Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't look good. That looks like dope. Keep your hand on your head. Hand on your head. Please. Please, officer. Please what? Please, officer. Looks like heroin to me. Please, officer. Please, officer what? Please, officer. I'm gonna go see my son. Not right now, you're not. Is there any more dope in the car? You're shaking, relax, spread your feet. Please, officer. And zebra 4 4. Please, officer. I got one in custody. Text prison what? on this one, man. <laughs> oh, my God. What are you doing, man? I'm going back to prison. Drugs don't pay, man. I know, please. I'm going to treatment on Monday. No, I haven't. Well, hold on. I'm going to treatment okay, on Monday. I got to read you something because right now you are under arrest, all right? You have the right to remain silent. You have the right at this time to an attorney. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You cannot afford an attorney. One will be appointed for you without cost. You understand all that? Please, officer. Why do you got the heroin? Dude, I'm going to treatment on Monday. I'm going to treatment on Monday, and if you take me to jail, he's going to deny my treatment, and I'll just go back to the same Who's going to deny your treatment, the dude, judge? jail, my probation officer, dude. Are you on a dosa right now? Yeah, dude. And I'm going to inpatient treatment on Monday. And dude, he's gonna deny it. And dude, whenever I go to jail, dude, being around those convicts and that same mentality, dude, I get out and I do the same. I want to work on my. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want you to do this anymore. I want you to get clean. I know, dude. I want to be clean. How come you didn't just tell me it was drugs in your pocket? I'm sorry, I mean, you dude. Know. I'm scared. I'm so scared. How much would you pay for that much heroin? Dude, that's like twenty bucks. I'm it's like so 20. scared. <laughs> here's, here's what's going to happen. You're going to go to jail tonight. I need you to stand up. We're going to take you back to a car. There's no way I can smoke a cigarette, is there? No, there's not. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Do you have any more dope on you? Since your first charge was taking dope into a jail, you know you're going to the jail. Is there any more dope on you that I need to know about? <laughs> Nothing down your pants? No? All right. Oh my god. Okay. I'm going back to prison. Have a seat. Hey. Oh no. Who's, is it your car? Yeah. Hey Michael, oh there's god. a little bit more there than twenty dollars worth of heroin. No, that's like a half gram or something. That's like it's not much. I spend thirty dollars on a gram. How much do you use of that a day? Like a gram probably. So how long is that gonna last you? That? Yeah. That would last me a day, if that. All right. He's got more than $20 worth of dope. He's saying it's for using. Uh, measures out at 1.2. Yeah. Well, stop him because he leaves the drug house after short stay with the trunk open. Yeah, nice. Get him Very stopped. Nice. He's active DOC. Pull him out, pat him down. He's got open his pocket I ask him about it he doesn't want to tell me at first and he lets me go in his pocket but uh, I've been enjoying it I've got no regrets so picked a good career I think well, we're en route to a call just down the street uh, subject uh, just ran from the uh, officers uh, foot bail from the car uh, we're gonna go try and uh, assist with the perimeter and uh, hopefully we can find this guy he has a male black, white t-shirt, blue jeans, shoulder length dreads with a white hat.
sounds like he was running this way and he jumped in the backyard. Which way? This way. It sounds like he was running right westbound and he jumped in one of these backyards. He's already been identified by his driver's license in the car. He's got prior weapons history. We have a suspect contained in this backyard. We're gonna be deploying the canine. We just chased him through like three houses. I can't man. I'm a leg. Back I here. can't leg, horse boys. What Please. side gate can we go through? Go right here. Horse yeah, boys. Right 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 You're gonna have to walk to the street. Horse horse. Hey, I ain't gonna carry. You. Oh please. Yeah, right Oh, we're all right. Oh man. Haynes got him on the front. He was coming up over the fence, so Angus got him on that side. Then he jumped back in the backyard, and then Blitz got him shirt on the other side. hung him up on. He was, like, hanging on the fence. So they yeah, came over here. I ran around. I came back the other side. They said, no, he's hopping over there. It was too hard to try to get a primer with that, you know, with that much information going back and forth. But that was a good job, guys. Nate, tell me, tell me what, why'd you run? You just bought it? I just bought it. I saved up more money. That, what what kind of car is it? It's a Lexus. How much did you pay? Like 2000 2000 Yes. From Where'd you get it? Bar, what part of town? Bar, From bar, who? Please, we got people to come looking at it. My leg is open. My dog got it in the front, too. My dog got it Did you get rid of anything, man? No, I didn't, the horse wash. I swear to God. Hey, uh, yeah. you, you understand why you got bit by the dog? Why? Tell me why. Because I resist the rest, sir, because I was scared of my car. Do you know you got gun history? No. Well, have you been arrested with guns before? So we knew who you were when you ran from the car, and we knew what kind of history you had that you normally carry guns and stuff. Well, that's that's why we use the dogs to catch you, man. We didn't know what you were carrying on you. We didn't know if you had a gun on you or what you were doing or why you were running. All right. Why didn't you stop when the cops told you to stop? You were scared? Did you know we'd be using the dogs to find you? Is that normally what happens? All right. We got the fire department coming. They'll come take a look at you. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh uh, man. No, this one? Yeah. No, your cups are not coming off. Uh, uh, almost got it. There you go. Come on. Yeah, that leg is fine. Your right leg is fine. So there's no need for this, okay? Put your legs in. Put your legs in right now. Come on. 
quit, quit messing around. You put us through enough tonight. Come on. Do you know why you're going to jail tonight? For not pulling over. And why else? Evading police. For evading why else? The police. Because you didn't stop when we told you to? Yes, sir. All right. Now you know for next time. He foot bailed and ran from us. We're trying to figure out why he's a uh, validated gang member, known uh, gun history. So uh, right now we're, we're doing a check on the car like to make sure uh, it's not stolen. But right now he's going for resisting arrest and evasion. I've been in law enforcement since 1997. I was a dispatcher actually for three years with the state patrol. I played softball with a lot of troopers who said, come on over and be a cop, you'll love it. And I said, no, I'm not really interested. I'll just be a dispatcher. And then about two and a half, three years later, I got the bug and I applied everywhere and got on with county and been loving it ever since. We're gonna stop this car up ahead of us. We ran the plate and the, uh, has an associated warrant with it for the owner of the car. So we're gonna stop it and see if that's him. King 88, traffic. Good. South 112th and Rent Nav. Uh, one twelve and what? One twelve and Renton. Okay. Buddy, uh, this your car? Yeah. Hello? Hey. Hello? Why don't you hang up right. the, the phone and talk to yeah, me? Just check, I got somebody here. To, uh, I'm talking to the police right now. Uh, hello? Yeah, what? Is this your car? Yeah. What's your name? Donald. Donald, you got your ID, Donald? No, I don't. Okay, well, there, you know... I have my wallet. All right, well, that's okay. You got, you got a warrant for your arrest, man. Go ahead and step on out. I got friends that live right up the street. Don't worry about them. You worry about me. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Yeah, he's in the car. I'm taking him in custody. Okay, it's not possible I call my wife or she can come and get the car. Hang on a second. Let's do one thing at a time. Come back. Walk with me over this way. I'm going to shut your car door. Let's go down here. You got anything on you? You got any drugs, weapons, anything on you that's going to stick me? No? Okay. You know about your warrant then, I take it, right? Yeah. Okay. You got a good license or are you suspended, be honest? No, it's suspended. You're suspended too? Okay. Go ahead and spread your feet for me. But I was going to go, I got to see a judge. That's my ex-wife. What are you doing with your ex-wife's credit card? She owed me some money and I went and got it. Just. You got any drugs on you? Yeah. What kind of drugs you got on you? Cocaine. Oh, that's not good. I know. It's getting worse. How much you spend on it? Got 150 bucks. You spent 150 on cocaine today? Yeah. Okay, I got more in the other pocket. Okay. How much have you smoked today? I have actually none. You sure you don't uh, you sure you don't sell it? I'm not selling nothing. You sure you don't sell it? Look at all this. It's all packaged to I sell. I know, that's the way it was got I bought it. Yeah, one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, it could be Big five. one, four. Should be five? Yeah. Okay, well we've got another one here. Oh five, six. No, no, five. Oh that one is. Oh the, I see the what you're saying. Yeah, the one I was talking about. I was counting that one too. Look at all this money. You sure you don't sell? I don't sell nothing. Why do you buy it all bundled packaged for sale? Because that's like that? all they had it. Like, <laughs> I had to buy it the way they had it. So the person you bought it from sold, it, all sold it to you like that. Yeah, he didn't have. Well, a how come package. you got this too then? I, I got another one like that too. From a different sell, somebody no, else? No, no. Oh. How much was that one? Uh, how much was well, this one? Well, with that one and the one that's in the car. Oh, you got another one in the car? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got a lot of health problems. Okay. And I, I do you think do you think the cocaine is good for the health problems? Yeah. You do? <laughs> you think the cocaine is good for the health yeah. problems? Why is it good for the health problems? Because it keeps me from sleeping all the time with all the medication I take. Okay. Well, I haven't heard that one before, but okay. No, that's what, you know, I mean, that's... Okay, yeah, if that's your reason, that's your yeah. reason. How much do you spend on cocaine a week? No, oh, this would probably be a month, this stuff here. Oh, that's a month worth? Yeah. 150 is all you spend a month? I don't make much money. Okay. You know, I'd probably do more if I had more money. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. We're just going to hang tight real quick until my partner shows up, and I'm going to put you in his car, okay? Okay. Could, would you let me make a call, please? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to run your name, and 
I'm going to determine just how suspended you are because I don't, I don't let people who are revoked in the first degree or second degree or who have tons and tons of unpaid tickets just give their car away. You see, see, you can't just drive your car and then not get and then get caught and then just give it to somebody with a license. Well, no, because then my, there's no repercussions. But my wife's got to have it. So she, she's got medical problems too, and I she and, and her license is good. I understand. I understand. But unfortunately, there's repercussions when you drive on a suspended yeah, license. You shouldn't pay for it. Okay, well, you should keep that in mind before you drive. You're right. Right? You're right. You're right. I mean, gosh. I'm not, I'm not you know, you're right. You're, you kind, you're kind of the trifecta right now. You got a warrant, you're suspended. <laughs> I got dope. And you got dope. Yeah. So you It's looking real good, I'll you, tell you You're that. the triple crown, kind of. And he has a warrant, he's revoked, and he has a whole bunch of coke on him. Would you mind putting him in your car? Sure. Thanks. Okay, can I continue regular traffic? Coming 310, you want to on your inhibition, go ahead. Oh, there we go, right here. Got another big bindle under this deal. August 16th of this year, we're not paying tickets. Copy. Planning purposes, I'll be taking one in town if you want to start somebody up to the hill. Okay, Donald. I told you I'd work with you if you were honest, didn't I? Yeah, but you haven't done nothing for me. You haven't have asked you just to move the car and call my wife. That's right. all I wanted to And do. I'm coming over here to tell you that I'm calling your wife for you right now so she can come get the car. She knows you're suspended, though, right? Oh, uh, yeah, she knows that, but she doesn't know the others. Does she know about your drug problem? No. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I understand that. Nobody wants to brag about those things. I understand. No, you know, it's not something I don't know how to write, come out and say. But, you know, I knew I was breaking the law. All you right. Know, so. And you were honest with me. Like I said, you were very forthright from the very beginning, and that's very rare. So uh, if anything, I'll remember that next time. If I run into you, if there's a gray area, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt because how, how honest you were with me. I used to work in uh, nuclear medicine when before I became a cop. Uh, I was like held up in a hospital all day long, no windows or anything like that. And I really like being uh, outside and um, working with people around uh, the city and it's just a lot more fun being outside. We're headed to a call of a person with a gun. He's walking south yep. in an alley and supposed to be shooting a, a gun and uh, we got a couple complainants and just walking southbound in the alley right now with the gun. So broke out a window of a vehicle with a gun shot. Going. The vehicle is parked. We'll just park here and walk? Yeah. We're going to get out and walk for this guy. Right here. Got me all there until the code for Drop the gun now! Police department! Drop, Drop the gun! Stop Drop right it. there! Drop Stop. it! Stop! Now! Drop the gun! Put your hands up! Put it on the ground! Get on the ground! Face down! On the ground! Everybody on the ground right now! Face down! You want to air this location for me? Uh huh? This is my house. I'm not talking to you! Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. You got anything else on you? No, it's just a lot in my cigarettes. Copy. 922, we're code four with four people. And these are the right parties. What was the address where that broken car window was? What are you doing walking around with that? I'm just doing some cans in my yard, man. It's illegal no, in the city. You, you limits, weren't seen right here, you were seen up the block with, all that, with that gun. You were seen up the street with that gun. What are you doing walking around with it? No Copy. walking around with it. You me. shooting anything? No. Nah. You never shot it? No. Nope. Well, why would we be here getting a call then? You just said you were shooting cans in your yard, so that's cans shooting. Cans in my yard. I'm not right? going up, up a block and shooting, shooting out windows. We got people that said you were. So why would people tell us that you were shooting a silenced gun, which we thought maybe was a BB gun? Huh? I don't know, man. Right in this area, yeah, and, and then we catch you with it. 
Were you with them too? What's your name? My name is Turan. Turan? Yeah. Was he with you the entire time? Uh, yeah, we just... The, the entire right time, here. he didn't walk away and go up the block? Dude, we haven't been nowhere. We've been sitting right here. So you're going to lie to me too? Dude, I'm not going to... All right. Huh? I told you what I said. We've been sitting right here. Okay. Quiet. Sit up. Put your knee in. Up. There you go. Let's go to the car. So you start being honest with me, or do I got to go get witnesses to say that you were walking around with the gun up the alley? Are you afraid of getting in trouble because of the car window? No, man, I'm telling you the truth, man. You're telling me the truth? Yeah. I don't think you are, though. Right? I can't just listen. Man, I've been in my house all the time. That's not true. All right, we've already talked to two people. And He was walking with him down the street. Did he, did he shoot the window out or did he break it with the, the rifle? They shot. Shot? Okay, and it was the Asian guy that did it? What's his name, Gur? Jer. Huh? Jer. Jer? Okay. All right, we'll throw her in a car real quick and then we'll just grab these other two guys. We'll just keep them all separate. You got her ID'd, right? Yeah. Okay. You know why you're in this car today? Okay. You were caught shooting that gun off, broke out a back window of a car, people saw you do it. Okay, and then we caught you with the gun in your hand. Ends up being a BB gun, still can't do that in the city of Minneapolis. Okay, you know there's lots of kids running around? Yeah. Probably your own family yeah, out there, the side of the house. Yeah. What would have happened if one of those BBs hit one of them or, yeah. be or hit somebody else down the street? Yeah, I know okay? what People could get hurt. If they, yeah. if they got hit by that BB, then it wouldn't just be a BB gun charge, it'd be a real gun charge. Yeah, right. It'd be assault, okay? Yeah. You are going to go to jail tonight for to damaged property. It's a felony. Right. And for the gross misdemeanor charge of carrying the BB gun in public and discharging it. Right. You understand? Yeah. No questions? No questions. All right. Th these three were with the guy when he did it, no. but they didn't do the shooting. It was just the, the one male that we arrested. Um, so these three are being identified for being with them at the time. They're all three clear warrants. So we'll just let these three go and then take that one guy to jail. From Grove, and looks like we're going to be in pursuit northbound Altos from El Camino. Charles C5 speeds are uh, 65 miles an hour, no traffic. Someone get a spike strip out on Norwood. We'll be coming out at uh, Norwood here, uh, westbound Arcade. We're about 25 miles an hour hitting a corner and it'll be turning into Lindley and stand by. Left on our kid turning to Lindley. All right, spike strip was missed. We're northbound Norwood. Uh, we're at 40 miles an hour. Uh, permission to pit when authorized. Charles 25, uh, we're northbound Norwood. Uh, traffic is still yielding. He's going in the opposite lane of traffic to make it through uh, Bell, and he's back in the uh, correct lane of traffic. 
Uh, no traffic in our direction northbound, 45 miles an hour. Copy northbound north, Adam Charles C5, I copy permission to pit when uh, conditions are met. We're still uh, westbound main. Copy westbound main, coming to levy. So when we have an opportunity, I'm going to go ahead and pit this car out and try to stall the engine. We've got enough units behind us. Charles 25, uh, we're westbound. He's uh, stopping for traffic just slow enough. We're doing about 40. Traffic is yielding. Coming up on Truxel westbound. He's shooting over to the very far left lane. And he just clipped a uh, Lexus. Uh, not a major uh, 901. Southbound Truxel, I think, or Natoma, whatever this is. Copy southbound Truxel or Natoma. Let's clip that white car back there. There wasn't anything major. I think they just rubbed a little paint. Charles 25, southbound Truxel. Very light traffic. If there is any traffic, they're yielding. We're in the number one lane. Copy southbound walk to the high number one lane. Uh, this car has some pep in its step. Uh, every time I try, uh, it's unsuccessful. It just waved at me. He's waving at us for some reason. Hey, Mr. Hamill, can we get some spike strips up ahead on Watt? He's going to continue in that direction. So let's see if we get the spike strips up at Marconi and Watt. All right, Ed. Charles. A wrong side of the road. He's southbound to the northbound lanes of Watt. Wrong side of the road. Charles 25, that's a firm. He is wrong side of the road. Uh, his speed is about 55, and traffic is yielding all the way down to uh, the next major intersection. Caution, cross traffic on Marconi. Cross traffic. He made his way through Marconi, continuing southbound. He's on the right side of the road now, southbound, south of Marconi. All right, Charles. Charles 25, I still. Uh, Got the call, Acevedo, you want me number one or two? Number one, I'll be number two. All right, where you are, southbound Watt, coming up on El Camino. We got a red. Uh, he's shooting over to the very far right lane. Southbound Watt, El Camino, far right lane. Hey, westbound El Camino, the Watt now. And guys, we're pitting him, we're pitting him. Okay, it's stopped. El Camino west of uh, Watt. El Camino west of Watt. Hit a hydrant. Piper's in the car, he's staying in the car, his hands are out the window. Driver! Driver! Both hands out the window! Crawl out the window! Crawl out the window! Keeping your hands in sight, crawl out the window. Let him talk. Let him talk. Keeping your hands in sight, crawl out the window. What? Crawl out. Crawl out. Crawl out. Crawl out the window. When you get out, get on, get on your face. When you get out, get on your face. When you get out, get on your face. He's looking. Get on your, crawl over here, crawl! Walk on your hands and knees! Walk on your hands and knees, keep coming! Alright, flat down, flat down, all the way! Chasing the relations pursuit up there, and your guys' hood up the top. Yeah. And uh, same guy, same thing. And a crazy pursuit ended, and then he ended up just you know giving up to the dogs and whatnot. But same dude, I, I saw the face here. That's the same guy. So he, he's uh, a yeah. at all costs kind of guy. Yeah. I guess. He's bad news, man. Yeah. He's bad news. He will run. He will he will endanger anybody he can. We used a pursuit immobilization technique to stop the car for a while. There, we went to surveillance mode with the helicopter uh, to help keep the uh, the safety of the public in mind. But due to the severity of what had happened with the armed robbery yesterday, the need to apprehend this guy was, it was good, and now it's time to uh, clean it all up. What happened out there? I wanted to stop, man. You, you wanted to? Yeah. At what point? I tried to move my hands up. I was like, no. 
Well, I saw you sticking your hand out the window. Is that what it meant? Is that you behind me? Yeah, yeah, it was me. Yeah. But you never did stop though. Yeah, Why? Because he was on me. I was like, man, this dude's gonna end up hitting me. I'm gonna, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, what's up with it? Why did you? We didn't even light you up, and you just took off. I was scared, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was probably at large. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Just scared at large. Yeah. How long you been at large? It's for about two months, a couple months. A couple months. Yeah. What what office are you out of? Uh, Metro. Metro. What's up with the car? Where'd um, you get that thing at? Last night. From um, who? From some dude in El Paso Heights. Do you even know the guy? No, not really, man. So you got it from somebody you barely know, and you're probably at large, man. You just you decide you want to risk everybody's life for what? <sighs> nothing. For nothing, huh? Now look, same result, right? If you would have just pulled over, you still going to jail for being at large. You still in a stolen car. And you're probably gonna face a new term. High speed pursuit along with it. You just added that one on yourself.